Good afternoon. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm Zuri BB, and we're going to do a relationship reading. Um, I've used these cards on this channel before. Um, they're um, getting into the vortex cards. Um, let me read the front of it. Here they are right here. Getting into the vortex. It's, it's, it helps you... Um, they say it's a deck of relationship cards, so it helps you focus on what you want or what you need to have a healthy relationship. And this can be, most people use these cards, I guess, to be in a relationship with their significant other or their twin flame or, you know, however you name your counterpart. But you can also use these cards um, to get into a healthy relationship with yourself. Um, that's one of the reasons why I started my channel, um, um, because um, we want to get into union with ourselves. And once we're in union with ourselves, we can be healthy and be with other people. We can um, be in harmony, complete harmony with others. Um, and when, you know, issues do arise, once you know who you are, um, you can, you know, realign yourself and get back on track. You know to um, keep the high, um, high vibration we're not going to always be in high vibration it's just not possible um, we got to have some darkness you know there's always light and dark positive and negative and whenever that happens we have to learn how to balance those energies out even if the other person um, stays in that negative energy you don't have to be around them you can balance yourself out and do it do it within you go within and straighten yourself out because nine times out of ten when you go within and straighten yourself out that other person has no other choice but to come to you in a positive or transformed manner and if they don't because some people fight it you can back away from it and you don't have to interact with them you know i'm just saying um it's been, I've, I don't think I've ever used these cards by themselves. I don't remember. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to call this reading when I do it. But I know um, this is going to be a relationship, a relationship reading. Um, some while back, I was told that I was going to be doing something to help people be in healthy relationships. Um, and you got to start with yourself first. If you're not healthy within, all you're going to do is send poison out to others. So let's let's get on with that. Um, I'm asking the angels. Um, I'm asking my um, animal totem. The um, who is my animal totem? Um, the lizard, not a lizard. Uh, dragon, because that's my you know that's my animal. I'm asking to look within. You know, come in the room. Um, I'm asking Archangel Angel Michael, Raphael, all of them, my ancestors, everybody to come on in the room and leave the karmic and the evil and the darkness out. We're not trying to entertain you all today. We're trying to spread some positive energy to the people who may come stop by my channel and ask, look, you know, they may be seeking for a, a some answers for some things that are they are dealing with in their life. Um, I did a reading, and some you know there's a lot of sadness and um, wounds, loss, something going in the, in the atmosphere. Um, not for sure who that's for, but we're here to shed the light on that and give you some information on where you can, you know, realign yourself. And not um, have to deal with that. All right, we'll see. I don't know how many cards are going to pop out, but I'll shuffle the I'll shuffle the deck, and whatever falls out, I'll talk about it, and then we can go from there. I don't know what what message is going to come. So we're asking, what is in the vortex for us today? What messages does the vortex have for us today? So that we can help and have healthy relationships. Alrighty. Quite a bit fell, but it might not be that many, really. 
two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Do it like this. Alrighty. So, what we have, I can replace false premises and law-based premises. Okay, this card is saying that um, I can replace false premises with law-based premises. We think about law-based, and that's on earth, here on earth. And sometimes we overthink those things. That's what this is saying. and that. But once you go within yourself, you know, the things that you really want and desire in a relationship are already lined up to come to you. You know, all you need to do is just um, not be so hard on yourself. You know, don't be so rigid. Do things to have fun. You know, a lot of us aren't having fun right now. Uh, you know, I'm kind of guilty of it myself. I haven't really done anything to have fun in a while. And um, we need to, sometimes we need to not just be so strict of the law, you know. No, it can't be like that. Sometimes you just have to dis let go and relax and so don't be so focused on this law based promise because that affects your relationship when you are so stringent so regimental it's not good for a relationship you got to be able to let loose okay let's see what this one says i intend to co-create for my place of positive attraction this is a good card what is this saying? I'm going to read this one. I'll read it again. I intend to co-create for my place of positive attraction. And this one says, The individual creators who are coming together must be in a place of positive attraction before they come together or nothing positive can come out of the co-creation so if you want to be in a relationship but you focusing on negative stuff it ain't gonna happen if you are negatively focused and not feeling good you can only attract others who are in the same state of negative attraction so negative attracts negative you can't be negative and expect positive and get positive that is why looking for a mate from a place of insecurity or lack of anything can never bring you the mate you really want but instead brings you one who amplifies your current lack so you got to get out of being lack you know you co-create this so if you want somebody you want to be in a good place and you want somebody in a good place you got to be in a good place when you're you know manifesting this your thoughts created. If you are already in a jacked up, men, me, mentally jacked up, you're going to get somebody that's jacked, men, mentally jacked up and they're going to jack you up. The relationship will not be any good. I see this one. My every thought is attracting its vibrational essence. I just said that. Whatever you're thinking is coming to you. Whether you are thinking about wanted things or unwanted things, you are still sending out a request to attract more things like the subject of your thought and all things that happen to you all the people the things experience that come to you come in response to your vibrational invitation so what are you inviting into your life are you invite are you inviting good things or are you inviting drama i don't want no drama i want love and peace Noticing how things are turning out for you is one very clear way of understanding which vibrational request you are emanating. Because you are always getting the essence of what you are thinking about, whether you want it or not. They, when you, people say your thoughts are powerful, they are. If you want good things to come to you, you need to be in a good place where good thoughts are who you are. 
You can't think, oh, I want something good, but then you out here doing dirt. Or thinking how you're going to get back at somebody. Can't get it. You're only going to get somebody that's going to get back at you. You're going to get the same energy you put out. And you know that's interesting. because I'm going to say this because I've stopped watching TV because it's too much negative. It's too much, you know, and you internal. People don't realize you internalize that. That stuff you watch on TV, those dramas, somebody sleeping with somebody's boyfriend and doing this and that. But they want to be in a healthy relationship. But how you going to get that and you doing dirt to somebody else? You sleeping with somebody's boyfriend. Or you are you want to be friends with somebody but y'all constantly arguing and you wonder why you only having bad things coming into your life. You got to think about what, you know, what are you surrounding yourself with? What are you listening to? You know, you got to think about that. Those things come, you invite those things into your, your environment. I was told many years ago, and I didn't understand it at the time. Evilness comes through your eyes, through your ears, through your mouth, through touch and smell. Your senses, yeah, we are given these senses for a reason. And if we're sensing negative things, it's going to come, it's going to come back. It's gonna come back to you. If that's what you if that's what you're internalizing, that's what you that's what you're inviting into your life. You need to understand that. Mm. The law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. What does it mean to cooperate? It means to work together. So let's see what this says. So there is this vortex of becoming. A vortex contains all of the requests, all of the amended requests, each and every detail of each and every asking that has emanated from you. And the law of attraction is responding to that. The vortex is literally drawing in all things necessary for the completion of every request it contains. All cooperative components are being summoned and are coming for the completion of these creations for the answering of these questions and for the solutions to these problems so everything you're thinking every your wants whatever your desires are that's um the vortex is taking it all in and it's you know request looking at the request that you're making and they're sending you know they're sending back sending it back to you sending whatever it is you desire back to you whether it's positive or negative that's how it cooperates you know you send it out there and they box it up and send it back so if you are desiring help and you know loving relationships loving um situations you know to to end or begin or anything like that it is going to respond to whatever energy you're putting out toward that and what does this say all of the amended amended means changed when you amend something you go in and you change it you know like you do your taxes and you got to send in an amended you know you forgot to do something or you need to change something and you amend your forms that's amended when you need to make a change so all of the change changed requests and every detail of each and every asking that is emanated from you emanated means that you've put out put out into the universe. The law of attraction is responding to that. So you need to think about that. It's what you seen and unseen, known and unknown. Because you know when they tell you to be careful of your thoughts, it's really important because the universe is is responding to that. It's responding to all of that. Look at look at this picture. I'm going to start, you know, I normally don't talk about the pictures, but look at this picture. This person's head here, and they're in their mind, they got, they got this vortex, this spiral of all these thoughts that are going on in their head. And this is all the stuff that they, that's that's coming back, or that's coming out. They're, these things are coming back, so yeah, they're coming back into it. You've attracted all of that, because whatever was in this spiral that you sent out, 
this is what the universe is sending back to you. So you need to be careful of that. Babies are thinking and attracting before they are speaking. This is so true. You know, you look at a baby. They can't talk. But you can kind of tell when they're hungry, when they need attention. They know how to do whatever it is they need to do to get your attention. Look at that. That baby is putting out requests. And this land being sheltered by the moon. Look at that. And that's how we are. We literally are like these babies. But we're past the point now where we kind of know what we're doing now. Some of us. Even though you are only months old in your physical body, you are a very old and wise creator focused in what in that baby's body. And you came with powerful intentions. People often assume that because a child is not yet offering words, the child could not be the creator of his own experience. But it is our promise to you that no one else is creating your experience. Children emanate vibrations, which are the reasons for what they attract, even from their time of birth. Yes, told you that. They know how to, you know, there's something... They communicate even though you don't hear the words. And so this starts at a very young age. Inner child. Every time I pull up a card, this inner child keeps popping up some way or another. This is an inner child. This baby is responding. It just wonders how, you know, how the adults are going to deal with them. Because look at that. It's up under this one. I intend to create from a place of positive attraction. So this baby is trying to let you know. They can attract positive attractions. Wow, that's deep. Last but not, you know, I don't read reversals in these, so don't worry about that. My relationship will change when my vibration changes. It sure will. It's either going to stay positive when you change. If you be in, if it's a negative energy around you, if you're in a, in a negative spot, that's all you're going to get is negative. But once you change being negative, the other person is, has no choice but to change as well. And if they don't change, they're going to leave. Which are, you know, and that's in any relationship, whether it's within yourself with your family members, with your co-workers, people, whoever. Whoever, this is for anybody that you're dealing with. Your relationships will change when your vibration changes. There are some people who are so mean and evil, you know, and they're just mean and evil and all they get is mean and evil back. Or don't nobody want to deal with them. And either they're going to change it or they're not. And some people don't want to change. They like staying in that evilness. And it's sad because when you stay in that, it puts so much stress on your body, on your heart, you know, on your blood pressure and all of that. You know, people have all these other things going on. That's what happens. And a lot of times when they're evil to other people, they try to put that issue on them and it raises their blood pressure. So... You know, if you're around somebody that's constantly in this negative vibration, you need to back away from them. You know. But let me see what this says. I, you know, it looks like this person... Is this... Oh, these are three people. Interesting. Actually, four people. One, two, three, four. And they might be the same. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Because this person is in green, they're thinking one way, and then now they're in the purple, they're thinking one way. And here's somebody else this way, and then there's a head up here. So it's all these different vibrate. This person is probably in all these different vibrations, which is interesting. Let me read the back. You are living in the time when fewer people will attempt the impossible task of pushing 
the unwanted far enough away that they will be left with only that which is wanted. It is the time when more people will come to the realization that what they have been seeking is not a change in the behavior of others or in the world outside of them, over which they have no control, but instead an understanding of their own vibrational relationship with source over which they have complete control. You have complete control over your vibration. You can't control nobody else. If you're around people that, like I was saying, if somebody around you is negative, you can change it. You can back away. You can leave. You don't have to stay in that. But so many people are fearful of leaving that they're comfortable. They feel if they leave, they won't have anything else. If you leave the negative energy, you're going to have positive energy. And once you have that positive energy, then you can manipulate. What am I saying? Not manipulate, but you can... Um, what am I trying to say? Manifest. Not manipulate. You'll be able to manifest what you want. But you can only start with yourself you can't you can't make nobody else do nothing else and i think a lot of people don't understand well they do understand that but they still try to do it anyway and they made i think this is where i was going to say manipulate some people try to manipulate people into changing and you can't do that all you can do is take care of you you can only take care of yourself listen to this baby okay let me let's back up over this again so we talked about replacing false premises you have to focus on on not being so rigid have some fun you know get out of your head because you can actually you know whatever it is you're putting out is coming back to you you know so make sure you know you have some fun see look at that This this spiral was going out. Look at all that going on. All these things are going out. There's too much going on. And whatever is coming back, the, the things are coming back. Whatever you put out is coming back. Interesting. And looking at these numbers, a 60 and a 3. 63, that's a 9. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Think about that. All right, and so this recap is um, I intend to co-create for my place of positive attraction. And this baby is thinking of attracting before they are even speaking. Same thing. The baby's putting it out there, and they're, and they're trying to create from a positive place. And let's look at this. 40, 54. Here's another nine. Another nine. Interesting. And my every thought is attracting its vibrational essence. Yes. Everything you think is attracting. Look at that. I'm, I, I need to look at that. These are. This is what this person's thinking about. It's deep. Sunflowers. They're around, you know. And this is saying that my vibrate my relationship would change when my vibration changed. And so their thought, look at that. And what's this one? 13 and 19. Nine, 12, 32, 5. This at 32, um, 13 and 19, 32. 32 it goes down to a 5. Interesting. You all look those numbers up. I could tell you, but you know, this is what I find. A lot of times when people come to the readings and they look for messages, they expect you to just give them everything. And because my background is in education, I want to give you enough 
information, but not all of it. I'm not going to give you all of the information. I'll give you enough of it so that you can go learn for yourself. A lot of people like to be spoon-fed. That means they want to be given everything. And, what, you know, the scary thing about it, there are readers and people out there that love that because... As long as they know they can spoon feed you, they can give you what they want you to have. And it may not even be the true information that you're supposed to get. So when you come to my channel, I'm going to give you enough information. But then, like I give you number things for you to go ahead and research for yourself. Because knowledge is power. When you know for yourself, then can't nobody put nothing on over over on you. I, this is not a channel for people to be, you know, I'm not trying to play you. And I'm not even offering readings at this time. I will be soon, but I'm not even offering you readings. I'm just offering you the base, base information so that you be, can begin your journey on how to heal yourself. I want you to heal yourself. So that if you want to be with your divine counterpart, you'll be in a healthy place when you get with your counterpart. You won't be where you can be easily manipulated. A lot of people on these channels, they like to manipulate. They give you just so much. Or they give you enough and then you don't realize that you've been taken advantage of. You got to be really careful about... Um, giving your power to people because there are people on this channel who will take advantage of you of your power that's not that's not my um intention here I'm here to teach I'm here to help and then have you move on because you know I don't want to spoon feed, feed you forever I want to give you enough and then allow you to fly whether it's you know, with these relationship videos that, you know, that I'm going to probably be doing. Cause, or whether it's, uh, the, uh, what, I do the geomet geometry, sacred geometry messages. I do angel messages. I do tarot. I do a lot of things. I'm not here to take advantage of you, but I am here to give you some messages. And messages of hope. Of healing you know because there's so much out here right now so many people are abusing people right now because you all don't know and that's sad but the people who are taking advantage of others they're they, they, you know karma does not play at all all right, let me get off of that because I wasn't even supposed to be talking about that. I don't know why that popped up in this message. But anyway, um, I'm hoping this message helps someone in some way, shape, and form. The main thing is, you know, all the relationship that you, relationships that you are in, you have total control on how to keep them positive. The main thing is balancing yourself your you know your thoughts you need to make sure you know that you're thinking healthy thoughts positive thoughts because as long as you're thinking negative thoughts that's all that's you're going to get you're going to have negativity come right back to you um and that's you know look at the baby it starts from a child so there's that inner child pops up in all my readings all right well, you all take care, and until next next time, peace. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. See you later.